I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. And today I want to talk with you about one of those tragic and completely avoidable job interview mistakes that too many people engage in. And I was reminded of it day before yesterday uh, when I asked the candidate a question and they start to go off on this three-minute monologue that maybe for 10, 15 seconds had something to do with my question and then they went off into the left field. Uh, so, you know, I, I paused... Uh, you know, I listened for a while, and then I stopped listening, and I let him talk on. And when he finally came up for air, you know, that pause in the conversation to let someone else speak, I said, by the way, do you remember my original question? And he hesitated for a second and went, no, I don't. <laughs> so, you know, we can laugh about it now, but how many of you have done that? What ultimately happens is... You know, you start to think you know the question before the interviewer asks it because you've been on too many interviews. And the problem with your, your getting a job may be that you don't interview anywhere near as well as you think you do. And this could be one of the big reasons. You start anticipating the questions uh, and you start answering what you think is being asked. You go off on these long-winded explanations instead of keeping your answers to, to maybe 45 seconds in length, 60 tops. And, and by the way, if you think that sounds short, time yourself talking for 45 seconds and see how long that is. You'll, you'll get an appreciation for the fact that 45 seconds is a long time. So you know, your goal is to answer the question. Now, if it's a phone interview, I want you to have your resume out in front of you and write the darn question down in front of you so it's a reminder that will help you stay on point. When you hear the question, you can even circle a couple of things in your resume to remind you of some talking points you want to cover. So, you know, answer the question, no more, no less. Don't go off on these long-winded tangents. 45 seconds, maybe a minute tops. Keep your answer to the point. Because otherwise, what starts to happen has happened to me the interviewer starts to mentally channel surf. You know, they start thinking about what they would rather be doing, uh, what, you know, what else they could be doing instead of listening to you, what their next appointment is, who their next call is, a whole host of other things, but they stop listening to you. And this could be the critical reason why you're failing. And I'm going to use that word very intentionally, failing on your interviews. You stop listening. You start thinking that you know the questions in advance and you go off on tangents. So this is Jeff Alpin. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did and you're watching on YouTube, share it, leave a comment, click the like button. Just do something that lets people know it was worthwhile. Then come over to my website, which is thebiggamehunter.us. Yes, you can search positions I'm recruiting for, but you can also watch all my videos for YouTube, listen to Job Search Radio and No BS Job Search Advice Radio there. You can receive a complimentary subscription to No BS Job Search Advice Easing and No BS Hiring Advice Easing, plus read previous articles that have been published for each while there. There's information about my books and guides to job hunting, other people's books. Uh, a lot of great content that's available to you at TheBigGameHunter.us. So come over to the website and go explore it. A few final things. First of all, if your firm's trying to hire someone, send me an email at the address below. Uh, you know, let me know who to contact and whether I should mention your name. I'd love to help your firm staff positions. If we're not already connected on LinkedIn, send me a connection request. The address is linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash the big game hunter. I accept connection requests from people worldwide, except if you look like a, a spammer. Finally, um, best way I could put this is I've been coaching people about job search for a long time uh, because folks need help. And, you know, th there are so many critical details that go into a successful job search. Yeah, you can find a job, but do you really want to take that long when it can be so inexpensive to get coaching throughout your job search? Or if you have a question about job hunting, um, I can handle that as well. So if you're interested in coaching, excuse me for a second, but I had a tickle there. If you're interested in coaching, uh, go, to, go to my website. Uh, matter of fact, go to VIPPersonalSearch.com. You can find out about my coaching programs there. If you have a question about job hunting, I'm a live person job search and career coaching expert. Uh, contact me through LivePerson.com. That's L-I-V-E Person.com. 
um, I'd be happy to answer your questions. Finally, if you want me to critique your resume, I'm happy to do it. Uh, go to VIP Personal Search, click the link there, follow the instructions, uh, and I'd be happy to critique your resume. This is Jeff Alpin. Have a great day. Take care.